Okay, there we go. Hello everyone. I am Katana. The light. Excuse me. I woke up at 1 a.m. And, and as soon as I set the camera down, I was. I had it in my mind what I was gonna say, but I just fucking forgot. Yeah, Katana, you, you fucking idiot. You forgot what you were gonna say. Good fucking job, Boyle. I am quite stunned that I forgot. Really. Like a fucking idiot. Katana's right here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, I remember what I was thinking about before. I forgot <clears throat> what I wanted to say. I don't remember what I wanted to say, so fuck it. Just further proof that I'm your favorite idiot. Starts recording and instantly forgets what he wants to say. Yeah. Fucking idiot stick right there. Fucking hell. <clears throat> okay. Since I forgot about it, why don't I just say this is a, a wake up slash uh, channel update wake up vlog slash channel update yeah why the fuck not I'll just put it in both playlists for fuck's sake I'm no longer going to be playing Warframe reason being over a year's worth of logins and playing it for over a year. I've seen no less than five updates that make the game more grindy, give you give you less for the amount of work you do, whether it's the same or more work in the game. And yeah, these are all just reasons why it's more grindy make things cost more especially with that that fucking 500 standing for one bait when a blueprint gives you 20 yeah I, I was wrong about it giving 10 it gives you fucking 20 and you can craft that as as many times as you want whereas you're max capped on how much bait you can buy and you're not even gonna get 20 at 500 standing for each even if you fucking get the maximum amount of standing possible so fuck that shit I'm done with the inflated grind that's why I'm leaving Warframe and I don't give a fuck if it gets good again I'm done I'm just I'm fucking done too fucking grindy and on top of that they're going for an open world on every fucking planet an open world map on every fucking planet and enemies are too fucking high level to deal with so fuck that shit I'm fucking done with it it just makes it more grindy more tedious it's fucking boring it bores the fucking hell out of me there was a time before they had that uh, fence painting what was it that the dude painting his fence with a brush 
they plastered the word destiny on it and then the dude painting his fence with a spray gun and they plastered the fucking uh, warframe across it and I had the dude laughing at the other guy because he was still working yeah that's that's when I realized this game's about to take a turn for the worst now it's time for confessions and I'm not talking about the Weird Al music video <coughs> For a while, I was sucking in by the, the shiny, sparkly nature of the game, having it look better than Destiny at the time. No more. I'm no longer attracted to shiny fucking things. It's just not fucking cricket. It's just not gonna work. And I was suckered in with the sunk cost fallacy. And as Jim Sterling puts it, the FOMO, the fear of missing out. Oh, if I don't log in every day, I'm not going to get the reward. Oh, if I don't do the alerts every day or the night wave every day, I'm not going to get the rewards. Fucking bullshit. It's, it's all predatory bullshit psychological tactics to make you think that you have to play the game. Yeah, I'm just fucking done with it. And yeah, one of my friends who played it on PC, he did warn me. Yeah, it's gonna get worse. It's not gonna get better. Well, now I'm fucking absolutely fucking done with it. Absolutely done. Just too grindy, too many bullshit psychological, psychologically manipulative techniques preying on your FOMO, using the sunk cost fallacy, using the Skinner box technique. I'm just fucking done with it. I'm out. Fuck it. I'm done with Warframe. And back then, at the time of that stupid commercial, Warframe was, was, past tense, was better than Destiny. Now, it's less rewarding, and it's more grindy. And, and, yeah, I could go on a spiel and just every nitpicking detail, but I'm not. I'm not gonna go off and nitpick every fucking detail of the game just to put, you know, support data. Because this isn't a fucking thesis statement. This isn't a fucking college. This is me telling you that I'm done playing the fucking game. And the reasons why I'm fucking done. Now, this is gaming hell. This is YouTube hell. This is the age of hell. It really is. Why the fuck do I have dust stuck in my freaking eyeball. Fucking hell. <clears throat> I've said it before. Now I'm saying it again. I don't feel like a gamer anymore. These games are not supporting anyone's unalienable right to the pursuit of happiness. And the way I see it, it's not inalienable or unalienable. It's fucking irrefutable. And it's being violated 
because no one's able to play the game they want to, pl to play how the fuck they want to play it. Hey, um, everybody who remembers when games had unlockables, and yeah, they still call them cheats even today, if you're cheating, using something outside of the rules of the game, and those unlockables were within the rules of the game, they're not cheats. Everybody remember those unlockables? Big head mode, infinite ammo, um... What was it? Well, there was derpy AI, big head modes, alternate costume modes, infinite ammo. Um, there was some that were even like zombie mode. What were the others again? <laughs> Yeah, start at particular level or stage, stage selects. Then that became like a common thing, you know, once you unlock the mission, or the stage, you can just replay it. That got mainstreamed into being more common. Uh, debug mode. Uh, what was that Star Wars game? Shadow of the Empire. <clears throat> That's the one. Debug mode. Where you could no-clip th uh, through the walls. Um, free camera mode. Where you could just unlock the camera and fly the fuck around. That was on... That was even on the original Xbox in Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Yeah, I remember it distinctly in, in Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. <clears throat> does, does anybody remember that? Yeah, share your experience of how you got to play the game the way you wanted to play it using those unlockables and uh, debug commands. Share your experience so everyone can see the stark day and night, the radical difference in the contrast between that back then and the way it is now on consoles because it is massively fucking different it is polarized this is the complete opposite end of what it used to be gaming's not fun anymore I don't feel like a gamer anymore I feel like I'm being punished just because I'm playing the game. And using the, what is it, the analogy that uh, the art community is a a smaller version of society holistically where the progression you know classic and whatever the little intermediates are up to modern then the postmodernism and and it goes through a fucking there's a list some other youtuber I don't remember who it was did a list <clears throat> And the artistic community, or the, or the styles of art, are an all if null, yeah, that's a math term, basically a smaller version of the larger sum, or everything scaled down, if you want to put it in simpler terms, of the global community as a whole. And then online and social media is another all if null of the world economy and society as a whole and now we see that even more so in 
in gaming and on YouTube. There's a psychological war going on. Yeah, fucking humans and their wars. It never fucking ends. Look, eyeball, you're gonna have to stop. You're gonna have to stop itching. I'm gonna have to do something really ugly about it. <clears throat> the current war going on is is a happy go lucky phony baloney feel good war just like the war on drugs started with the war against hackers now it's the war against the common gamer and i'm not going to reveal my sources because fucking reasons deal with it i don't care what you think i've learned that in a certain company, everyone except for the lead person in charge wants to control everyone else in the gaming community, in the game. <clears throat> and what they've done is they've made things far more grindy to go after, to where you have to put more and more effort in to get the exact same level of stuff you used to get with minimal effort. And every time the lead guy, person, girl, thingy, whatever, each time the lead person in charge goes off and adds in a thing that allows people to acquire more of what they wanted because, you know, it's getting tedious as all hell to go after. All the little asshats underneath this person in charge, they go off and they patch out what this person put in. Whether it's an update, uh, a patch, fix, a glitch, no matter what it is. This person is fighting everyone at the company just to make the game enjoyable for people like me and the rest of the gaming community across the planet to enjoy the game. I could name fucking names and I could name companies and you know given, uh, given enough time I could name birth dates, uh, fucking social security numbers country and state province fucking street addresses all kinds of shit given enough time even without hacking it's really fucking easy I could name names of the specific people who are being little bitches and fighting against the irrefutable right to the pursuit of happiness of every gamer on the planet I could just go on a fucking spiel, but I'm not because, you know, fuck that shit. I'm not getting paid for it. It's not my fucking job anyway. I'll leave that to the guy who does it best, Jim Sterling. Jim motherfucking Sterling! Yeah, he does that sort of thing best. But anyway... Yeah, take my word on it. There's a war against the common gamer. It's a phony baloney feel-good war, just like the war on drugs, which is a rehash of prohibition from, what, the 1930s, 1940s? If the so-called fucking people in charge can't control it, just so that they can feel like their dicks are bigger than everyone else's, or their pussies more swole than everyone else's, then they're going to make damn sure no one enjoys it. That's the war we're in right now. As far as gaming is concerned. Now let's talk about the war in YouTube. Yeah, and people from the same company fighting the lead person in charge. They had an entire person's channel deleted 
because this person exclusively posted glitches that they found in the game. They were supporting, this YouTuber was supporting everyone's irrefutable right to the pursuit of happiness, to play their game how the fuck they wanted to play it, and they just wipe out this person's channel because they're so fucking much of a bitch. And that's not even the social economy war. Shit. Yeah, I could go on and on, but, you know, fuck it. There's people who get paid to do this shit. Well, they don't really do their fucking job because they're the government. So, you know... They're not protecting everyone's rights and privileges. They're just not. The amount of civil unrest, it's on the rise. People are feeling the pressure, and I don't like being around people. Being as um, sensitive as I am to the emotional and psychological state of other people, it makes me fucking nervous and afraid to be around people because I can fucking taste, smell, I can reach out <clears throat> mentally and feel the amount of stress that everyone's under. It used to piss me the fuck off. I've reached a state of nihilistic cynicism. I don't know what to call it. M fucking depression, Asperger's, I don't know what to fucking call it. The state of the world is complete fucking shit. Because we're in the age of hell. So anyway, realistically, The way out of this bullshit mess that everyone's in right now is for the, the so-called people in charge to give up trying to control everyone else around them. Given how many times they fucked up, pissed people off, and how much shit they've been dumping on everyone on the world globally. I'm not talking about just one government or one group of people. It's everyone shitting on everyone. Realistically, the people in charge are too afraid to give up their fake power because they know that there are a lot of people out there who want to hurt them personally. <clears throat> And the only real solution to that problem, this is the second problem, the only solution to that problem is for everyone to practice their, their bullshit preaching about forgiveness and second chances and actually put their fucking money where their mouth is and stop yammering on about it. Yeah, those are two key problems right there. The people in charge need to let go of trying to control everybody. And everyone, everyone, just needs to, to let fucking bygones be bygones. At the end of the day, you're just another fucking corpse pushing up daisies or feeding worms. When everything is said and done, and you're dead and gone, you're fucking dead and gone. Whatever legacy you leave behind is just going to, A, either leave a shitstorm for further people to be pissed off at, or B, make you a martyr 
or C, make you a fucking saint. St. Patrick can attest to that. And as far as martyrs go, well, today they look back and they shame them and humiliate them. So I can't think of any martyrs who have maintained their their martyr status. But I can think of a lot of shitheads who have really pissed people off and maintained that status throughout history. Yeah, there was uh, back in Egypt, one of the pharaohs oppressing the fucking Hebrews. <clears throat> Uh, let's see. That's that's a really really far away example. Can I pull anything closer to today of people who have pissed off everyone and maintained that status as a fucking bitch in the eyes of history? Oh yeah, Logan Paul doing his suicide forest video. That was within the past three years. Yeah, he's an actual fucking terrorist. Terrorism is fucking using fear to control people. That's the basic definition. <clears throat> Just like all those truth ads about smoking that, you, that a lot of people see coming out of the, this left testicle of the United States. Just like the governments are doing to everyone across the entire planet right now. Using fear to control them. Oh, you're afraid of going to jail, aren't you? Do what the fuck I want you to do. Yeah, that's how it works, bitch. It's terrorism. The, the governments are the real fucking terrorists. So, yeah. It really stumps me, man. I can't think of anyone who's maintained their martyr status. I'm not talking about fairy tales like this Jesus fellow. That 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 guy didn't exist. Never did. The Jewish community made him up to control everyone because, you know, they wanted to be a government at the time. Yeah, there's a lot of lies like that throughout history. And to quote a famous video game line, History is written by the victor. History is full of liars. It's a fucking thing. Fucking martyrs. Can't think of any. Really nags the hell out of me, you know? I can't think of any martyrs who have maintained their martyrdom status and are revered as martyrs uh, martyrs not martyrs that really chafes my ass well let's um Let's give an, an example of how bad the stress really is. Robin Williams committed suicide because he was depressed, and that's a lot of stress. <clears throat> that's fucked up. I've actually spoken with people in the past whose parents molested them, raped them, uh, regarded them as a piece of property to be owned, and that's a common thing I'm seeing today. Children are regarded by their parents as fucking property instead of an actual person to be raised to be an actual person. And, you know, I, I've seen kids that I've went to high school with who were fucking uh, just gone. Yeah, I've, I've heard some stories about this. a friend who watched his friend go out and hang himself while he was on an acid trip because his parents were yelling at him. 
and it was a commonplace thing for his parents to yell at him. And he was tripping on acid because he thought it was going to take the stress off, but all it did was elevate it to a bad trip when his parents yelled at him. That's fucked up. Shit, what else is there? Looking at the poor state of society as a whole these days. When does it end, everyone? When do you stop pointing fingers at everyone else around you saying, Oh, look, this person's doing bad shit. I'm not doing it as bad as they are. <clears> Triple <throat> AAA gaming industry. EA. Bioware. Digital Extremes. Yeah, I can name fucking uh, names of companies on that one. Bobby Kotick. Fucking idiots. Randy Pitchford. Yeah, when are you going to stop pointing fingers at people? Just, just stop, everyone. These people in the industry today are as old as I am, around the same age as I am. We grew up in the same era of society, and I turned out to be me, and they turned out to be a little bitch. You gotta stop thinking about now and yourself. Everybody has to stop thinking about right now and self. This is small. This is narrow. Now and self is this big. It means absolutely shit. When you die, you're fucking dead and gone. And the only way people are going to remember you is in a positive, happy way that they enjoyed your existence or that they absolutely fucking hated you. Ajit Pai, Randy Pitchford, Bobby Kotick. These people are going to be hated later on. The fucking idiots who are small minded. Their brains are this fucking big because they only think about now and self. They don't think about anyone else. They don't think about any time else. I guess the only difference between me and them as far as the era in which we were raised, because we're all roughly the same age, is the fact that I had a, an awakening and an enlightening experience, literally replicated from the fucking um, Buddhist mythology. Because I'm not believing that some of that shit has happened on this fucking planet. I'm really not. Except it wasn't a tree that uh, Buddha was rumored to have sat under. What, what was the tree that I was sitting under? I was sitting at the base of a fucking... It wasn't an acorn tree, but it did have squirrels in it. What was the name of that tree and the nuts that it made? A pecan or a walnut tree? I think it was the pecan. Yeah, it was the pecan tree. <clears throat> yeah, I had an awakening or enlightenment experience sitting under a pecan tree. And, you know, I'm here. Just being me. Just doing what the fuck I do. And because their minds aren't aware of anything outside of themselves, they're a complete bitch. And they'll be hated for a very long time throughout history. It's to the point now where I'm, I'm almost done with the newer games completely. 
I'm almost completely done with society completely. I've already passed the point where I stopped giving a fuck. I, I just I don't care anymore. Hey, yeah, governments, uh, you know, uh, fucking corporations. You know, I'm I don't care anymore. I'm saying this stuff because it's what's right. You know, for me to point out, hey, there's these problems, and here's some ideas to fix them. That's what's right, but I really don't give a fuck. I don't care if you go off and rape kids, like some of the YouTube videos claimed, from, you know, the, the this one guy claiming he was a Jew, and that they chopped up kids and fucking sold them to McDonald's. I don't give a fuck. I don't care anymore. It doesn't piss me off. It doesn't bring me any joy, or excitement, or happiness, or sorrow, or guilt. I don't fucking care anymore. I'm done giving a fuck. I am out of fucks to give. I don't care that uh, Microsoft put out an update, uh, what, a month or so ago, that stopped the DVD and Blu-ray... Uh, movie player from playing properly. I don't fucking care anymore. I'm out of fucks to give. But I'm not gonna let that stop me from pointing out and, and saying, hey, this is what's right. We gotta we we gotta get you guys to do it. Wink wink nudge nudge poke poke. So yeah. What's right for everyone to do is to stop trying to just stranglehold Homer Simpson choke the living life out of everyone by trying to control them and to, you know, do what PewDiePie said a few years ago. You do you, and I'll do me, and we won't do each other. Probably. It's the same philosophy, or it's a synonym as much as I fucking hate synonyms. It's a synonym to um, a line in a song, live and let die. Yeah, it's the same as saying live and let live. Stop trying to control other people. Yeah, it's a scary fucking thing to, you know, let, let go of control and try to trust people. It's a scary fucking thing, humanity. It really is. I've been there. I've done that. I know. It is scary as all hell. <clears throat> it makes you fear for your fucking life. To give up controlling other people. And let them control themselves. But honestly. In keeping with doing what's right. Because it's what's right. If everyone had let people do themselves and you do you and you don't do each other probably from the very fucking beginning you wouldn't be so scared of it right now if if you'd been fucking raised properly yeah to everyone in charge right now if you'd been raised properly and you'd let people do themselves and you do you from the fucking beginning you wouldn't be so fucking afraid for your life at the mere thought of letting go of trying to control everyone else around you. <clears throat> you know, l let me point to um, a TV series, Avatar The Last Airbender. Azula controlled everyone around her through fear her entire life. And when she finally lost control, she freaked the fuck out. And that is the emotional and psychological equivalent of, of what's going to happen to everybody in control now. You're going to break the fuck down. You're going to be afraid every fucking second of every day for years that someone who's going to hate you for, you know, you being a bitch and trying to control them their whole lives, you're going to be so afraid of someone like that busting down your fucking door and killing you and your family or raping you and your family, if you even have families at this point, you're going to be so afraid of that that you're going to hallucinate. 
you're gonna see shit that's not there. You're gonna hear shit that's not there. And it's going to terrify the fuck out of you. And a lot of you are going to commit suicide over it. Because you'll be so afraid and you'll be tripping your fucking balls off on your fear so much that you will not be able to handle it. And if your idea, you know, if your train of thought is, well, oh, that's even more of a reason to stay in control, you're absolutely fucking dead wrong. Absolutely fucking lutely wrong. Yeah, I've, I've gone off and, and said quite a few things. Because I see the the connections between everything. And, and you know those, those fine or thin lines that uh, people associate with being between this, this uh, thing happening here and, and you know the people in charge. That's a piece of tape that someone stuck there. You just rip it off and you see that it's it's a fucking cogwork mesh. It's a fucking well-oiled machine. The truth is scary to you because you've lived your life under a rock emotionally and mentally, everyone. I know it's fucking scary. I've been there. I've done that. But it's time to rip that band-aid off. You know, you may think that the colors, you know, green and blue are separate. But they're just hues of the visible spectrum of light. Same difference with reality. You may think that this object and this object are separate. But there's a gradient that connects them. Everything is connected. Nothing is separate. Everything is connected. The amount of stress in the world and the people in charge being bitches and the war against the common gamer it's all connected. Whether you say it's through psychology or through, you know, this series of things, or that series of things, it's all connected. <clears throat> so I don't know what else to say. I, I'm, I'm out of words now. Which is a good thing for everyone. Yay, you don't have to listen to me babble on about this, uh, whatever it is. So there. Till next time. Yeah. Maybe I'll I'll actually be doing something that's more enjoyable than spleeling about the truth. <laughs> yeah, there's a balance to be maintained between yeah, we gotta do what's right. Well, I have to do what's right. Maybe I don't have to, but I'm doing it anyway. And doing something that's fun. Yeah, there's a balance to be maintained. So, till next time, everyone. Uh, control yourself. Don't control other people. Don't forget that. Remember it. Control yourself. Don't control other people. Yeah? We're good. Right. Like or dislike if you fucking want. Personally, because I've gone on for so long, go ahead and give me a dislike. Let's see if I can't get a few billion dislikes. Just for fucking shits and giggles. You know, like Pewds did. Yeah, let's bring that back. Let's dislike everything for a few minutes here. <laughs> Hashtag sarcasm. Or is it? Till next time. Bye.